Thanks, our mommy. I request you sit. Sit. In all humility, I want to pray for the staff, those who work with Mama Boys. All those who work with Mama Boys, that's the name we have in town of late, starting with them. And I know they are there and others are not here. Shall we pray? As you continue working under this grace and this anointing, remember you are as strong as you are united. Remember you are as strong as you are united. And Jehovah ordained this day that the fathers of faith may come together and speak a word of God, the word of God into your lives, that you may carry the vision, that you may pray for the vision. Oh, the able staff, oh, the able staff, if you only know the millions of Kenyans struggling in pain, looking for jobs, you would carry the vision and pray for her. You'd carry the vision and pray for her daily. We pray in the name that is above every other name. That from today you are going to carry the vision. From today you are going to be praying for mama boys. From today you will not leave your houses without prayer. From today you remain united in Jesus name. From today you will declare the goodness of God into your lives. From today, you will serve with all your hearts and all your mind. Oh, Ebo staff, we can be good and better still. Best in the year 2023, but there is years ahead in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus because prayer is the inheritance of, of believers. Pray the inheritance of believers it is when we pray that God answers it is when the creation connects with the creator and we call unto the heavens and God hears oh Ebo staff if God doesn't answer prayers he wouldn't ask us to pray if God doesn't concern he's not concerned with prayers he wouldn't request us to pray but prayer the inheritance of believers passport as i always say to the world of impossibilities oh we pray that from today you be great stewards thank you Lord. oh we pray that there be the revelation to understand the vision oh we pray that the heart of jehovah be upon you in the name of jesus thank you, Lord. oh we pray that you walk in holiness oh we pray that you walk in loyalty Oh, we pray that you walk in the fear of God as you serve. It was tough in Jesus' name. May Psalm 121 forever be your portion. May the Lord watch over you each day you come in, each day you go back. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. May Jehovah be your, your shade at the right heart. That the sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. That God may keep you free from harm. That God may watch over your lives. That God may watch over your coming and your going. Forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Ebo staff. May Jehovah hide you his wings may Jehovah cover you from this day within his mighty arm and when the oceans rise and the does roar you will sow with him above the storm because Jehovah you are king over the flood and all the staff will be still and know you are God. And the staff will be still and know you are God. Yes. Unity of purpose. Yes. Now and always. May those who don't know God know him from today. 
and now go and enjoy your Christmas and the years to come knowing you are blessed and favored in Jesus name Amen, amen. In, as we continue with prayer we pray for our families hallelujah are those who fear the Lord who walk in obedience to him and they eat the fruit of their labor blessings and prosperity will be theirs wives will be like fruitful vine within their houses children like olive shoots around their temples of the men and women who fear God heavenly father as we pray for the family starting with the first family the second family and all of us father yes. we pray someone that did three in heaven God you hear us the prayers of the righteous because this is the confidence that we have that when we call you hear us this is the confidence that we have Jehovah in your majesty Jehovah in your majesty you hear us that you have your way in our families that there be unity in the families that your blessings may flow in the families oh in every county visit our families oh god cause us to fear you cause us to walk in the fear of god cause us to love you god cause the families cause the families to be praying together for the family that prays together stays together cause the families to acknowledge god as their jehovah cause your heart to be upon the families the families that don't know you let this prayer today cause the families that don't acknowledge you start acknowledging as the Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus cause start going to church and acknowledge Jehovah as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords the families that don't worship you cause them from today to live a life of worship yes. Father we declare as we really the families yes. keep the family safe during this time of festivities the years to come are safe. this is our humble prayer we declare families preserved families protected and the heart of God upon us Amen. I know you hear us prayers we know you hear us prayer and I know you have done it in the name of Jesus. Now, Mark, as we pray for our nation, Father in heaven, you see the hearts and minds of men. <laughs> the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 17 <laughs> that you reward motives. <laughs> Because you see the hearts and minds of men. There is a lot of pretense in our nation. And this pretense is, uh, is stopping God's agenda in our homes in our churches in the government father we repent before you we repent on behalf of our nation we repent on behalf of our nation and if the people who are caught by your name shall pray seek you and ask in the name of Jesus the Bible records you'll hear them oh God you'll answer their prayers and you'll heal their Lord father in heaven we ask in jesus name that you heal our nation Makaya de heal the nation of kenya have mercy in this nation of kenya father preserve our nation father keep us safe in kenya father cause kenyans to look up to thee father cause kenyans not to complain Kenyans are complainers. The research showed that majority of our people in this nation complain a lot. You do not listen to complaints. 
you listen to prayers. Father in heaven, forgive our nation. Peace in our nation. Let there be fruit. Let justice be our defender. Tawala taifa la Kenya. Tawala taifa la Kenya. That the nations around us may testify that Kenya has come to her feet again. That Kenya has come to her consciousness again. Father, blessed is the one who trusts in you, whose confidence is in you. Cause us, the peoples of this nation, to put our trust in you and have our confidence in you. The Bible records they will be like trees planted by the waters that sets out its roots by the stream. Cause Kenya to be that tree that is planted by the side of the waters. Yes. It does not fear when heat comes. It leaves are always green. Cause Kenya to be that tree. Cause Kenya to be green. It has no worries in the year of drought and never fails to bear fruit and God 79 that the heart is deceitful among all things and beyond cure who can understand the hearts of the men and women in Kenya and the Lord you said I the Lord such a mind the might to reward each person according to their conduct and according to what their deeds deserve. If we deserved pain because of our character, forgive us and heal us. As you search the hearts and minds of us all, starting with the church. <laughs> Thank you, those who speak to us, those who preach to us, as you search our hearts, God, could be Kenya has been ailing because of the sins of our fathers. Could be Kenya has been ailing because of the sins, not political leaders, but of the church. The people who are called by your name. Today, we have repented before you. peace, that Kenya may enjoy plenty, that Kenya may be shielded by your love, that Kenya there be plenty. Father, you told me to declare you will never let Kenya go. Take your place, reign in our nation, preserve us, let there be favor, let there be goodness, let there be mercies, let there be your favor, let there be your blessings flowing in our nation, for you love our nation, for you love our nation, and you never let Kenya go. You will never let Kenya go. You will never let Kenya go. Have your way, we pray, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Let's give a big hand clap to Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to ask all of us to stand as we sing a song in the presence of God. We allow all these thanksgiving prayers to suck into our hearts, to ascend before the throne of God. Time. 
Father, we thank God. We can take our seat. God bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are here today because of the vision God gave to a mother in this country. Uh, Her Excellency, Dr. Pastor Dokas Rigadi, God raised her from nothing into something. And we are so blessed to be here to see her where she is. Because where she's going is very far. <laughs> it's very far. But we are happy to be able to catch a glimpse of her while she's here. She's a prayer warrior. She's a preacher of the word of God. A firm believer of the scripture. Uh, her homiletics is sound. Her hermeneutics is proper. She's a very serious And I'm telling you, when she stands to deliver, yes. it's excellent. Even the theologians stand perplexed when she stands to deliver. We want to honor her. We want to honor this lady. She's our own. Let us celebrate her when she can see us dance. Amen. Aunyaje. Mara nyingi tunaleta maua watu wakiwa ndani ya sanduku. Leta maua watu wakiwa hai. Waione ilikuwa ni green ama ilikuwa ni red au ni aje. So I want to ask us to be upstanding as I usher her to come, speak to us. But after speaking to us, pray for us. And then she will call the end to this great meeting today. Let's honor her as she comes. Let us honor her as she comes. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.